Storm Watch tonight. Tow truck drivers have been working nonstop during the first winter storm of the season. ABC 10's Bridget Piorlo talked with one of them as he helped stranded travelers on Interstate 80. When the road gets messy Ooh, what was that? and your plans get stalled, you can feel it. You hope to meet someone like Mike Stager. I don't think of it as being a hero, but I do enjoy helping people. He came to our aid when our news vehicle got a flat tire during winter weather coverage. And on the trip home, we learned that Mike survived a storm of his own. We only had about 10 minutes to get uh, the animals and, and the, uh, paper, some of the paperwork out of the home before it, uh, before it burned down. Just over a year's gone by since the Colfax native watched everything he worked for go up in flames in the river fire. But from the ashes, he found more than he lost. Just keeping a positive attitude, uh, appreciating, and have an attitude of gratitude, basically, and appreciating the things that are around you. And sometimes you forget about those, those simple things, like spending time with your family and stuff, or, or those precious times, so nothing else can replace that. Shortly after the fire, he turned to towing to make a little extra cash. It allows you to get out and help people and have new experiences every day. So much so that he's working on what is his 59th birthday. What are you doing for the big birthday, the big 59? I'm running around picking up people off the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> and as he sends us on our way to go save strangers, he offers this message for travelers. The best advice is if you want to get there fast, drive slow. <laughs> In life and on the interstate. Wow, and Monica, we are certainly so thankful for men just like him and anyone else out there helping stranded drivers. We're told that he and his team, uh, 20 cars oh, were stranded. They, gosh. just them alone. Yeah, helping men 20 cars. and women alike yes, out there everyone. helping everybody. I yeah. know, neighbor helping neighbor. That's yes, we need we, it. Community <laughs> effort here. We have.